to the broadcast. Okay, if you are flying solo this Valentine's Day, maybe we can help you get a date with one of DFW's most eligible bachelors. There's a contest going on right now to find the most eligible bachelor, and you can vote and possibly win a date. So here to tell us more is relationship expert Jennifer Stiers. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great. Good, good. Okay, tell us about this contest and what makes the most eligible bachelor. Okay, well, the reason we decided to do it is because we have the Dallas's, uh, uh, Dallas's top 10 women, most mm -hmm. beautiful women, but the men weren't represented. And what I found in dating is that the women here in Dallas are very tainted. They're like, where are all the good men? So I wanted to show them where the good men are. Okay. So that's what the contest is about. So eligible really means uh, not just on the outside, because they're all obviously mm -hmm. very nice looking, but it's also eligible on the inside. We're going to meet them in a second. So tell me what the, the things that, that you're talking about on the inside. Like, these are nice guys lacking of any issues, no baggage. Mm -hmm. I don't know that is anybody is, is anybody lacking issues, <laughs> okay. right? I think everybody comes in a little bit mm -hmm. um, with a little bit of baggage, but it's uh, to what level and at what level are they willing to work on it in a relationship. So um, eligibility is, is important. It's availability. Mm -hmm. It's emotional availability. Willingness to be committed mm. and that's really important as well so um so yeah so we hope that this is this is a fun contest and we hope that we 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 feel we've chosen some really great people okay so. they're good looking yeah Let's they see. are Let's definitely our bachelors um bachelor number one what's your name sean stasiak okay sean and what do you do for a living i'm a chiropractor and uh, i'm also a motivational speaker and i do a, a plethora of different things but uh i'm working on a uh, comic book superhero come to life for kids on an anti-bullying campaign. That ah, oh very gosh, creative. Good one. He's yeah. a good one. All right, ladies. <laughs> Bachelor number two, your name? Heath Oaks. And what do you do for a living? I'm a uh, territory sales manager at Colonial Life, and I own a uh, real estate and investment company in East Texas. Okay, oh, well, another yeah, good one. Yes, okay. Oh, wow. We like that. And bachelor number three? Wayland Rhodes, and I'm the chief of police in Little Elm. Oh, yeah, you're the strong guy that keeps everyone safe. Yeah. Women love that. He's got the handcuffs. I love him. Chicks okay. dig you. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, so we're going to play a little game with you guys. Are you, are you up for it? Sure. You okay, we're going to ask spot, right? <laughs> You can't say no now. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're going to ask you some questions. Bachelor number one, what is the most romantic thing you've ever done on a date? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I don't want to sound uh, cheesy or cliche, but I mean, it, it's pretty typical. I'm I'm, I'm an old school guy, you know. I mean, just a, a nice candlelight dinner, oh. wine, bubble bath, and the rest is history. Uh, not on the first date, though. The bubble bath? Oh, the first date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. You are fast. I'm joking. I'm joking. Forget the bubble bath. <laughs> us, but a nice dinner, you know, wine, candlelight. No. That's that's romantic. That's yeah, the most romantic okay. date, first date that I've had. No, no. <laughs> All right, Dee Dee's got their question for number okay. two right there. If your girlfriend's best friend made a move on you, how would you handle it? Oh, good question. Yeah. Tell her in a heartbeat. You have to just get right away and tell the girlfriend. I mean, that would be... That's like rule number one, you don't break, right? Yeah. I mean, I definitely would think it would be best to tell her. So you would tell you would tell her that and her friend made a move? How would you say it? Would you go, hey, your girl hit on me? Like, how would you say it? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I would just tell her. So you just Slap. want you to know that, hey, she hit on me, and this is what she said and wow. what she did, and I want to put it out there. I mean, because if you don't, she can hold it against you. Yeah. If you hold it in and... Uh, Honesty is the best policy. Absolutely. And you stand back and you let the cat fight. Yeah, begin, get, out, right? get out of it. Get out of the way. <laughs> okay, bachelor number three. When it comes to love, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, that's a good question. In five years, hopefully uh, being on the show is, is a representation of where I want to be in five years. Uh, in love with someone. and You want to be know, married? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we are good men. We are good men. Such sap. It was like, oh. <laughs> but good question. So you, would you like to be married with a family? Or? I, I or traveling? To, I do hope to get married again someday. I do. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. This question is for all of you. Okay, and you each take a turn to answer. So you see me or Dee Dee sitting at the bar, and we're sitting alone. You walk over to talk to one of us. Give me your best pickup line. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh you're saying, oh, gosh, because you're like, do yeah. not use pickup lines. I am Never. scared. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't really know. To be honest, I don't use pickup lines. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just, I come from the heart. I'm just myself. I would just say hello and, you know, just strike up a conversation. Just be real. I'm just a real guy. Right. I don't yeah. have any pickup lines. Oh, and wow. if there's chemistry there, if there's, uh, 
you know, you okay. usually know that within the first 30 seconds, and then it goes from there. That's okay. that's me. Good answer. So there's none of the I want to redo the alphabet, but you and I next to each other. Yeah, there's enough, enough cheesiness in the world. Yeah. Just you know, keep that's it real. True. Be from the heart. That's it. Okay. Okay. Nice. Good answer. Good answer. Gotcha number two. I, I'm with him. It, you know, being a young young person, a lot of the young people these days are so. They have no common sense when it comes to it, just being honest. Right. And I think that, honestly, women really appreciate just the realness of just walking up, hey, could, could I sit down and have a conversation with you, sit down and have a drink with you, or whatever it is, whatever scene you're in, and if they say no, then go on. If mm. they say yes, just have a conversation and wow. ask about them. Gosh, where were you guys when I was trying to get married? <laughs> My gosh. You guys are really this good. They're so nice. I love it. They're okay. real, real guys, real answers. Yeah. Okay, My mom was raised this right. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yes, good I love point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that bubble bath he mentioned earlier. On the first <laughs> thing, I think, um, I, I'm not a pickup line guy either. I, I walk up and say, do you mind if I stand here? And then if they allow that, then I order a drink. And then if something takes place, then it does. Yeah. You don't wow. say, do you mind if I cuff you? I'm a cop. <laughs> well, maybe after a few drinks. <laughs> Well, you guys are great sports, and um, good luck with the competition. And just, it's great having you here. Thank you. They're wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, you're invited to the hottest Valentine's Day party in Dallas, where the most eligible bachelor will be crowned, by the way. The event is happening tomorrow night from 8 to midnight at the Bubble Bar on Cedar Springs. For details, just head to thebroadcasttv.com. Click on today's links. And gosh, will you guys come back and check in with us and let us know if you met someone, if you're dating someone? Absolutely. We'd sure, love an absolutely update. Like that. that would be awesome. great. Okay, now that you've got your date, we've got some great wines that you can drink and have your cheers to. Haley's got those for us next.